Welcome back to our Bitsign channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a Java program, which is identifying the employee with the highest salary in each department. This is a frequent post question during interviews to assess your proficiency in Java program. This program is a great way to deepen your understanding of Java Stream API and collections. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, knowing how to use the GroupPy method with Stream API is essential. Without further ado, let's dive right into the code and break it down step by step. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge Science Education. Let's see the question here. Finding the employee with the highest salary in the e each department. This problem is not only relevant to real world scenario but also common query in technical interviews. To successfully tackle this challenge, we need to leverage Java programming and make efficiency use of collection and method to arrive at an efficient solution. Given a list of employees, each with a department and a salary. Identify the employee with the highest salary in each department. During your interview, you might encounter questions such as what approach would you take to identify the employee with high salary in each department? Or which Java collection do you consider most appropriately for storing and organizing data concerning employees and their salary across different departments? Or could you provide a step-by-step -step outline of process for designing method or algorithm to address this problem? Or are there specific Java method or function you find specifically beneficial in this scenario? Or in this situation where multiple employees within a department have a higher salary, how do you handle such cases? So continue watching this video and as it will provide clarification for these questions. Let's establish employee class along with its attributes. I'm going to define a class named employee, encompassing private attributes such as employee ID, name, department and salary. Next, we'll create a parameterized constructor for employee class to bind value to these attributes. Inside employee constructor, we will add few parameters which you would like to set. So we have added ID, int, name, string, depth, string, salary as double. So now we need to bind this value. For that, we will use this keyword. This for this current object will hold the value of id this dot name will hold the name value if you don't have any ambiguity you can directly use the attribute and assign the depth value as a department and salary we will use this keyword to assign now let's proceed by generating setter and getter methods to do this navigate to the employee class go to the source and locate the setter getter options a dialog box will appear presenting all the attributes so you will see all the setter getter for each attributes. You may choose only getter or choose only setter as per your requirement. And here I will select all to generate setter getter method simultaneously. Also you may insert a specific point like I have chosen after employee constructor method. Also I have chosen short by fields in pairs. So now choose the attribute you want to generate. You will notice that setter and getter method are generated just below the employee construct. With this step completed, let's transition to the main class. Create an employee object and assign value to the each in this list. We'll use an array list to add employee ID, date, department, salary values. Now, let's add some value like name as department as Java, salary as in some random number. Let's take in medians. Hmm. I observe an error while creating the employee object. However, there is a naming conflict since we already have an employee class present in this project. To resolve this, we'll rename the class name to employees using the refactoring option. We then have to rename all the employees wherever it is mismatched. Now, let's copy the same add method to add more record. So, I'm going to change everything here. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the sec IDs. First is submit, second is Bobbin. And third, I will write AC. Fourth, I will write Daniel, Erika, and Fatima. So let's change the department as well. I'm going to use Python 
the another department third i will keep java as a department fourth again let's take python and fifth six will keep react as a department let's change the salary as well we'll put some random we will just play with the numbers here and there like this and that's it firstly we have a list of employees each having attribute like employee ID, name department salary our goal is to identify the employee with the highest salary in the department so we have three department java python yeah what would be the highest salary for these each department so if you figure out these are the values for java cassie has the highest salary for python bobin has the highest salary and for the react fatima has the highest salary so this should be your output let's shift our perspective what sql query would achieve this same result so let's see consider the representation within the employee table now let's examine the sql query and comprehend the statement this sql query might look a bit complex at first but let's break it down step by step we have two select statement joined together using a join clause the inner select statement denoted as e2 is responsible for finding the maximum salary in each department it achieves this this by using the max function and grouping the result by department once we have a maximum salary for each department we join this result e2 with the original employee table e1 based on two condition the department must match and the salary of the employee e1 dot e salary e1 dot salary must be equal to the maximum salary found for the department e2 dot max salary this ensures that we are selecting only those employee who have the highest salary in their respective department and here's what the output would look like based on the sample data set we get employee id name salary and department for each employee who has the maximum salary in their department so let's copy paste this query and let's shift our focus to eclipse to solve this problem we will utilize the power of java string api to efficiently process the employee data and identify the maximum salary employee for each department we are leveraging the java string and collectors like this employee list dot stream collect we want to group our employee by department and for each department find the employee with the highest salary let's break down the code the first step involves the grouping the employees by their respective department this can be achieved using the collector dot grouping by method collectors dot grouping by use this collector to group our employee by their department now the employee are grouped by department we need to identify the employee with the highest salary for each department this can be done using collectors dot max by method along with comparator collectors dot max by is within the each department group we use this collector to find the maximum salary employee using a comparator based on salary this code slip iterates through each department group extract the list of employees and applies the collectors dot max by method to find employee with the highest salary the comparator dot comparing double method ensures that the comparison is based on salary attribute so the result is a map where the key is the department let's determine the return type of the get department method to do this i will navigate to employee class and copy the return type of the mentioned method next we will investigate the contents of this map which employee representing the employee with highest salary in the department where the current return is an employee object however it could potentially be a list so let's consider using a optional to handle this scenario why we have used optional in comparator we use optional here because there might be case where a department has no employees the comparator helps us compare employees based on their salary enabling us to find the one with the highest salary now we can display the result using for each we will utilize the department as the key and the employee as the corresponding value let's print the information using system out printer displaying the department and the high salary like this for this the empl very well holds an optional object of employees we will employ the get method to retrieve the employee object first 
then we will use the get salary method to obtain the highest salary in this map now let's execute this java code upon running the code you will observe that java department has the highest salary at 1.02.2 the reason for this being display in decimal form is due to exponential notation it has surpassed the limit of integer for display That's it for the today's problem session. We explore using Java stream and collectors to efficiently find the employee with highest salary in each department. I hope this explanation proves to be informative. I recommend to check out other related videos in our channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am Nathan Dinath and you have been chilling with BitScience. Thank you for your attending and happy coding.